as you can see, uh, we have a lot of wine behind us and we're going to try to drink it all tonight. This is a 2010 vintage, one of the great vintages in Napa Valley in the North Coast. The smell, all black fruits, black raspberry, black currant. This wine is rich, powerful, and a wine I could put away in my wine cellar for the next 20 years. The highest rated wine, in my opinion, in Tuscany is Brunello di Mappuccino. It's going to be medium in style, good acidity, but without acidity, a wine will never age. I could smell this wine all day and not even drink it, and one of the great food wines, it's ready to drink when you buy it. One of the great things about the Lasseter, of course, being Pixar, is the, the label. I guess they know a little bit about making cartoons and artwork. This wine is a blend of Malbec, Cabernet Sauvignon, Mirolo, and a little bit of Cabernet Franc. And they've actually done a great job in blending these different grapes to make a whole wine. And that's what I'm looking for. One of the great things about wine is it's made all over the world. Countries like Croatia, which you might not think of, growing grapes and making wine. This is a unique wine, a spicy wine, and a ready-to-drink wine. Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, and wine. Yes, it's true. I think that that's something that people should know about celebrity wines, that they're not really just giving their name away. And you better make sure that there's good quality because you can't fool anybody anymore. Americans know wine. I love the color of rosé. This wine is refreshing and the most, or the best part, it's inexpensive. Of course, the biggest question I always get asked is, which one did you like better? Put me on the spot. I'm going to go with uh, our director here, Francis Ford Coppola. I like his wine. I like his movies. Cheers.